Hello, Taurus viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading, so just whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. Um, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. You know, if you're in this energy group, then it, it should resonate with you. It should make sense to you. So let's see what we have. I also appreciate any comments. Even just leaving a heart comment below because I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm again and get my get YouTube to promote, to promote my videos. So I really appreciate it. Internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve. We have the monster within. Then we have courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners, thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession, jealousy, envy, punishment, changing course. Hmm. Rebellion, upstart, revolution. We have the call of the night, daring, adventure, excitement. Just put those there so you can see them. Two more, oops, sorry. Hunter, aggressor, tracker, provider. And we have supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly. Let's get a couple more here. Call for help, reach out, need for backup, admitting your needs, training, consistency, and practice. Okay. This could be you or your person, um, and I think this is just a quick message that wanted to come through, and then I'm going to get into the tarot cards. But it feels like feels like somebody is out of balance here, basically, is what I'm getting, because we have internal struggles. We have the monster within. It's almost like a beauty and the beast energy, or it's like a Jekyll and Hyde kind of energy here, where it's like you have the monster within, you have this internal struggle, but then you have courtesy, you have, and look at how there's, there's a wolf on in both pictures here too. It's like you have these two wolves inside you basically. And we have the courtesy card, thoughtful, polite, good manners. So I feel like your, like your shadow self and, and your, you know, your, your 3D self and your higher self, it's like they're all out of balance right now. Or like I said, this could be your person. That's This could be an insight into this person's mind. Take it as it resonates, whether it's you or them. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. But, but you see how drastically different, because we're talking about an internal struggle here and how drastically different this energy is. Thoughtful, polite, good manners, courtesy. So it's like somebody's somebody's kind of been denying them their true self. And this could be a situation too, where you might not be able to express your feelings to someone. And it's like kind of warning you not to snap or it's like, you're not, I'm noticing like her hair color too, where it's like he or she wants to like dye their hair like this, but they're like, well, I want to, I got to put this image on, or maybe, maybe some of you are like teaching or you're in a certain role and you, it, it's like somebody's somebody's not really in balance. Like they're not quite able to be their true self is kind of the energy I'm getting here. Where I feel like somebody is not doing the shadow work either. It's like they're trying to, but they're just kind of putting a bandaid on things. It's like they see this darkness in themselves and they just kind of run from it. And they try to, um, again, whether it's you or whether this is your person, either way, maybe both of you even. But it's like this person tries to just be thoughtful and polite and have good manners and be courteous. And it's like you kind of see how she's looking at the wolf, too, where it's like it's a part of her, but she's kind of like denying it. It's like she doesn't want to. She's trying to tame that. He or she is trying to tame that. They don't want to let that side of themselves show. Um I feel like somebody here is just kind of afraid of their darkness or they're afraid of falling back into old patterns. They're afraid of, um, could be any number of things, but it's like somebody wants to improve. They want to be a better person, 
But unfortunately, I feel like they're just kind of doing surface level. I don't know if surface level healing is the right word, but it, it's like it's like they're denying their shadow side is basically what I what I'm feeling. Yeah, that's that's that, that's most accurate. Somebody is denying their shadow self. They're denying those deeper impulses and urges. They're denying things that they want. Um, this could be fetishes even. This could be, um, it could just be personality traits that you feel like don't mesh well with the people around you or they don't mesh well with the work environment. This could be suppressing emotions because you don't feel like you have a safe space to express those emotions or you feel like you can't tell the person you love how you feel. Um... This is just somebody and you might not be able to like, maybe you're not journaling. So it's like, you're just keeping so much inside is kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Or somebody's keeping a lot inside or they're just, you know, like I said, kind of denying their shadow self. It's like, they're trying to put a bandaid on it and they're trying to improve their life. They're trying to make sure they don't, they don't fall back into old patterns. But I feel like that lack of balance is what triggers them like being at war with themselves is kind of like what triggers them to fall back into old patterns and this kind of reminds me of the reading I was doing um a few days or so ago where I was getting that somebody had like a toxic macho masculine figure basically that kind of like taught them to uh be in survival mode and taught them to kind of fight themselves and taught them to uh to not trust love not trust the people around them um and I was just getting all this tension, just being at war with themselves. Somebody really needed to take a break. And that reading, yeah, I would check that reading if this is resonating with you because you could be in that energy group as well. This might be the same energy group. But um, but yeah, anyway, it's it's like it's like somebody wants to change. They want to better themselves. And that's a good thing to aspire to for sure. But it's like you have to have you can't really deny this monster within, you know what I mean? Like you can't really deny this side of this side of yourself. It's kind of like, um, I don't know if you guys have seen once upon a time, but you know, well, spoiler alert, just, <laughs> just fast forward like 30 seconds if you don't want to hear it. But, um, but basically like the evil queen gets loose and she's like separated from Regina, but it's basically the same being, but they like are split into two. So it's like two different versions of like the same person. Like it's the same soul though. Um, but she, the, the evil queen has all this power because she split off from herself because she's this own, it's like a hundred percent evil. And then a hundred percent good over here. There's no balance They're They're not the, the light and darkness. It's like, they kind of keep each other in check. There has to be that balance, but it's like, um, in that show, it's like, they kind of merge at some point. She's like, you know what? You're all your pain, all your trauma, all your anger. It's, it's a part of me. I have to embrace this side of myself I have to I'm not going to let it take control but I have to embrace it it was a part of my experience it is you know I can't just ignore this and once she accepted that once she merged with that part of herself again she was able to find that balance so it's one of those things where it's like somebody wants to change but you know if you're just sticking a band-aid on it and you're trying to you know, be thoughtful and polite and have good manners and you're trying to do things a certain way and you're like fighting not to fall back into old patterns. But you have to, yeah, you just, you need that balance between your shadow self and your light self and your, you know, there you can't really have one without the other. You need to keep them both in check. And for some, this could just be denying yourself things that you want and need. Like you might just be overworking yourself and it's like, you're not really having fun. You're just, you're just trying to get to where you need to go. You're kind of running on empty. Um, or like I said, for some, you might be like suppressing your emotions. Like you feel like you don't have a safe space to express your emotions. Whatever it is, if you don't find that balance, it's this pat. This karmic cycle is going to repeat where it's like you eventually just can't take it anymore and you cave and you either you know, let it all out and you explode emotionally on somebody or you go back to your shadow self, to your old patterns, maybe drinking or drugs or gambling um, or old thought patterns. It could be a number of things. But but yeah, it's, it's like it's basically saying you have to learn to like you can't just completely suppress that pain or suppress that side of yourself.
it's going to because that that's when it gets ugly because this side of yourself demands to be heard you know what I mean it's like suppressing a whole part of your personality and you're like no like that doesn't like no I'm not doing it and like day by day it's like it gets stronger and stronger until it just like screams to just be heard and to be seen and that's when your shadow self comes out and takes control in really ugly ways so it's kind of saying like to make sure that you find that balance, make sure you're not just overworking yourself, make sure you're not suppressing your emotions and suppressing your needs and just trying to put on a, trying to put on a good face. You know what I mean? Like you, you've, you've got to merge, merge these energies together to keep them in check, you know? And this could be emotionally too, where it's like, if you don't let yourself cry, eventually that's when you like fall into a depression because it's like, you're not letting yourself feel the emotions you're in survival mode you're like I'm just going to get to where I need to go I'm going to be strong I'm not going to let myself fall back but then that's like when you it's like the ten of wands energy where it's like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders and that's usually when you do just cave in because you're like I can't do it like I can't take it anymore like I've like I've been working and working and I just I haven't had fun lately I haven't done anything lately so this is kind of that energy where it's like kind of like a warning where you might end up having one of those those drunken nights where you just let loose and you just drink way too much or you just um like you, you just maybe if you've been waiting for somebody and you haven't found that balance it's like you just say screw it and you're like just start you know dating other people or you just it, it's like you know, we have thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession. So it, it's like if there's if your needs aren't being met, if you're not meeting your needs, if you're just in survival mode, trying to whatever it is, that's not being felt, not being seen or, or heard, there's some part of you or there's something in you, whether it's whatever it might be, that needs to be expressed that needs to be seen so it can be kept in balance, you know, you, you got to find that balance. But but yeah, there's kind of a warning here where it might just be because so we have jealousy, envy, punishment, changing course. And it might even be like you you could be jealous or you could be upset with somebody and you're trying not to express that because you don't. It, it might be like something that you're trying to sweep under the rug where you're like, I don't want to deal with this right now. Or it could be something that's just kind of inconvenient. Like it could be like a toxic job or a toxic environment or like a friendship where you know, like, you know, something needs to be worked on, but you're like, I don't, I can't do this right now. I can't deal with this. And it's just one of those things where like, eventually it's like, you're, you're just going to snap kind of, you're going to like get to that breaking point where like, I just need to have fun or I just, I can't, ex I can't hold back my emotions anymore. And you just explode or some, you know, there, there is like kind of like a, like a recklessness here, basically. Cause we have rebellion, upstart, you know, revolution here, call of the night, daring, adventure, excitement, um, hunter, aggressor, tracker, provider, where it's like all this like aggressive kind of energy, like all at once. It's like, you're just, if, if your life is kind of stagnant or kind of boring, it's kind of like you have to have that balance and bring that fun back into your life. It can't just be all work and no play. Um, cause then it's like, you're so, you're, you're just craving that like excitement. You're craving that, you know, the call of the night. It's like, you're craving that passion. You're craving something new and that's when you get in that, that mode, that hunter mode. Um, supernatural, inexplicable, uh, miraculous, otherworldly. Training, consistency, practice. And we have call for help, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. I think that's really relevant here. Call for help, admit your needs. Be honest with yourself, do the shadow work, even do like some shadow work prompts. There was, I forget the website, it's something wolf, but if you look it up, if you look up shadow work prompts, it should come up, but it's, it's all this website. It's like, they have these shadow work prompts that are for, um, each different chakra. So I would really look into doing some journaling and some shadow work prompts as well. But yeah, it's like, you need help. You need support. You got to admit your needs, you know what I mean? Whether it's whatever it is, it's not being meant met. If you just, it's like, I'm hearing that quote, like, what is it? Like the definition of insanity is like doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. It's like, there's like a stagnant energy here almost that needs to be broken out of where it's, it's like, you're trying to, you're trying to survive and you're just trying to get to the next place. You know what I mean? Like you're just trying to keep 
like maybe this could be somebody that's struggling financially and it's like you might need to ask for help or you need some kind of financial support here. Um, basically kind of letting go of pride and saying, you know what, I'm human. I can't really do this alone. I do need some help, whatever that might be. Could be resources even that you call, you know, maybe some some sort of resource that you call for help paying rent, whatever it might be. But, but yeah, just admitting your needs, asking for help is important right now. Um, and yeah, finding that balance, you know, super supernatural, miraculous, otherworldly. Finding that balance between like your higher self and your shadow self and your your you know physical self and all just all of it just just balancing all those energies out. It's going to take training, consistency, practice, self discipline. Like it takes time to learn those things. But you're kind of going back and forth between like darkness and light. You know what I mean? Like you're going from one extreme to the other. Um, or for some, like it might not be that, that it might just be more like survival mode and then not having fun at all, you know, or like being trying to meet a goal, but you're not like, like you're not like your, your life isn't balanced. Like maybe you're, maybe you're doing well financially, but your social life is failing or vice versa. You have a good social life, but you need financial help or something. It's like, there's something there, there's something. And it's like, whatever it is, that's not being balanced. I feel like you're trying to just kind of think positive or you're trying to kind of sweep it under the rug and that's that's that thing where I was talking about where it's like it's going to come up later in uglier ways where it needs to be addressed the last day in the light unexpected ending surprise changes sudden shifts ecstasy there might be an ending but it might be something that you want um because we have ecstasy after that and seduction so we have desire allure manipulation hope anticipation wish I feel like it's also saying some of you need to make sure like for some this could be a warning where it's saying don't do something in like the spur of the moment don't let yourself snap like it might be one of those things where you're like you're not meeting your needs and you're feeling stressed. So one day you're just like, screw it. I'm quitting my job with like no backup plan. You know what I mean? Or if like your needs aren't being met in a relationship and it's one of those things where it's like you're suppressing your emotions and then one day you're like, screw it. I'm done. Like, bye. You know, and then you look back and you regret it and you're like, wait, I should have saved that friendship or I should have saved that relationship. I should have, I should have expressed my emotions in a more balanced way. I shouldn't have just held it all in and exploded just out of nowhere. It's one of those things where it's like, I think it's kind of actually a warning is, is what I'm getting here more than anything where it's like, don't let yourself get to that point where you just explode, whatever it might be, you know, um, these emotions, even if it's journaling or talking to a therapist or whatever it might like, like I said, it's different for everybody. There's, there's different needs here that are not being met. It's going to be, you know, some, for some it's love, some it's money. It's, it's going to be different for all of you, but, but basically don't get yourself to that breaking point where you go off the deep end and you're like, you go on a drinking binge or you, you tell somebody off or you, you know what I mean? Like, don't let yourself, <clears throat> don't you let yourself explode basically. Um, the color green, emerald, and also butterflies might be relevant for somebody here. Witness to know personal evidence to speak out. Ancient ancestry, Egypt, magical inheritance, madness. Yeah, some of you are like like a like a goddess. Like and I don't want to. I don't know. If, I don't know why I said goddess. Um, like a very powerful in your past life, and that's part of where this comes from. Where it's like your maybe you were like a queen or a king in a past life or you were in a position of like maybe like witchcraft but like you were very very like a like a healer or like a medicine man or a medicine woman or something so that could be part of this balance is like you're not used to the modern world like you're not used to the position that you're in this lifetime if that makes sense so anyway I hope this helped you guys and like I said, please, you know, comment below if this resonated, even just leaving a heart comment. It really helps me because I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm again and get these videos out there again for people to, you know, get my numbers back up. So I, I really do appreciate it. Even just liking the video, it really means a lot to me. Um, please share and subscribe too if you want to. And if you want a private reading, my email is below. Thank you for watching.